tale of the man who died while standing. Ocopeto Baggio. Baggio, Bialli, contropiede azzurro. Va Baggio, eccolo servito, Baggio. Hop. Born in Italy in February 1896-7 was a young boy called Roberto Baggio, blessed with his talent and skills that his whole town knew about him. He joined Cardogno Academy at first but it was at Vicenza that Roberto would make his mark. He scored over 100 plus goals in 120 plus matches in the academy and immediately earned a place in the main team for his spectacular and consistent performance. In the main team he was not short of spectacular as he was named the player of the season. Anyway, this will lead to a race between Juventus and Fiorentina to sign Baggio, which will lead to Fiorentina eventually winning, signing Baggio with a whooping amount of £1.5 million, which was like £150 million in today's world. Baggio, in partenza, dopo due minuti di gioco, Roberto Baggio porta in vantaggio l'Italia. In Fiorentina, he was on a hot streak and he scored 12 goals in his first 11 matches and then will finish the season with 24 goals as he was named Fiorentina's best player. In Baggio's final season with Fiorentina, his club was nowhere near the top 5 of the table and only Baggio goals gave Fiorentina the hope to fight in the Serie A. Despite lack of success that season, he was the second top scorer of the Serie A only behind Van Basten who had just won the Ballon d'Or. Baggio's Fiorentina also reached the finals of the UEFA Champions League, but their rival Juventus snatched the trophy from them just like they snatched Baggio from them at the final minutes of the transfer. Juventus success managed to convince Baggio and he betrayed his team and made a move to Juventus. Like they say, if you can't beat them, join them. Well, Baggio at Juventus was an absolute joy to watch. He was scoring goals, playmaking, assisting, winning best player and top scorer awards as well. Then finally, after three years at Juventus, he won the Ballon d'Or in 1993. And the following year after the Ballon d'Or would completely snatch him from winning his second Ballon d'Or and eventually remove his name from the GOAT conversation up to this date. World Cup 1994 Under Italy's new manager, Aragio Sacchi, Baggio was his team top scorer during the qualifying campaign for the 1994 World Cup, scoring 5 goals of the team's 14 goals in 18 games and also providing 7 assists. He helped Italy to top their group and qualify for the 1994 World Cup, notably contributing to Dinos Baggio's winner in the decisive final group match against Portugal, which secured Italy's place in the final competition. One of his best performances during the qualifying campaign came against Switzerland on October 14, 1992. Italy were trailing 2-0 at home and Baggio led his team to a 2-2 draw, scoring the comeback goals. Under Sacchi, Baggio made his first and only starting appearance as the Italy's captain in 1994 World Cup qualifying match in Glasgow against Scotland on 18th November 1992. However, he was substituted off in the final minutes of the 0-0 draw after injuring his rib. Despite a series of injuries prior to the tournament, he was expected to star in the 1994 tournament after Italy had qualified. In the group stages of the World Cup, Baggio was already labelled as a flop and he couldn't influence a single game and was goalless. Even the Juventus manager labelled him as a wet rabbit because of his hair and the lack of performance, hoping that this would trigger a comeback from Roberto Baggio. And yes, it did. In the knockout stage, Baggio scored 5 goals and was totally crazy as he was carrying Italy in his divine ponytail and most of his goals were match winner or tiebreakers. In the semi-finals, he scored 2 goals and was the man of the match versus Bulgaria. Now, what many people don't know is that before the finals, Baggio wasn't fully fit as he pulled his hamstring in the semi-finals and only played with the aid of a painkiller injection. Anyway, Brazil vs Italy in the final ended nil-nil and extra time didn't make any difference so it went down to penalties and this is where history was made. Yeah, the pressure is on him, he has to make it. And this is where Baggio's name was removed 
from the goat conversation up to this date and this is where the man died while standing and this is why Baggio never won a second Ballon d'Or. But nevertheless, Baggio go down as one of football greatest players ever and of course probably Italy's greatest player ever.